how are you, my good students? And I think uh, you have been enjoying learning chemistry. What I'd start by saying is, thank you so much. You have been a good student and I have always found you having subscribed to my channel. And uh, the many views, I, I truly appreciate that. Well, today I want to take you through the flames, luminous and non-luminous flame. A flame is basically a mass of burning gas. Therefore, I have two portable burners here, and with one, the air hole is fully open, the other one, the air hole is closed. And I'm going to light the two burners, then we're going to see the difference. So I will light the banner with the air hole open. That is the flame. That is the two flames. So you can see I'm having two flames here. The first one, the one that is noisy, because you can hear some noise. It is called the non-luminous flame. This one is a non-luminous flame. The one that is on my right, it is called the luminous flame. Okay, let us learn the difference between the non-luminous flame and the luminous flame. First of all, the non-luminous flame is produced with the air hole open. And that means there is enough oxygen getting into the chimney, burning the gas completely to produce a lot of heat. So the non-luminous flame produced with the air hole open. The luminous flame produced with the air hole closed. The second difference, the appearance. The non-luminous flame appears pale blue, while the luminous flame is bright yellow. You can see it's bright yellow. I want to consider the heat and for instance I have some distilled water here. I want to heat the distilled water that is 20 centimeters cubed of distilled water. I want to heat the 10 or the 20 uh, centimeters cubed of distilled water using the non-luminous and I'll have a stopwatch to see how many seconds will I use. So in count of one, two, and three, I start. So I'm heating 20 centimeters cube of water using the non-luminous flame. Good. Within 29 seconds, that is 29 seconds, the water has boiled. I'm going to use, I will reset, then I'm going to use the luminous flame to heat equal amount of water. I'm going to heat. This can be start my stopwatch. I'm going to heat, I'm heating 20 cu uh, cubic centimeters of water using the non, the luminous flame that is now. The, I started the non-luminous flame, now I'm heating using the luminous flame. Maybe you notice what is happening to my boiling tube as I'm heating. I'm still waiting for my water to boil. I'm still patient. Now I'm heating with the luminous flame. I'm now at one minute. My water has not boiled yet.
So we'll consider what is happening. Maybe as we await for the water to boil, we can also talk about another difference. The non-luminous flame did not produce soot. While the luminous flame is producing the black substance called soot. Good. My water has boiled. And it has boiled at 1 minute 36 seconds. And that tells you another difference. The luminous flame, the non-luminous flame is not hot. That is, we say it is fairly hot, while the non-luminous is very hot. What I was talking before, the non-luminous flame did not produce soot. It was not smoky at all. But the luminous flame is smoky and it produces soot. If you look at my boiling tube, consider like this one. This one, I used the non-luminous. The boiling tube remained very clear, very clean. So the non-luminous does not produce soot while the luminous flame will produce soot. Okay, maybe you ask yourself, why the soot? Remember, the, non, the luminous flame is produced with the air hole closed. So there is no enough oxygen getting into the chimney. The gas undergoes incomplete combustion. The carbon particles that are formed, the, the one that form now on the boiling tube, so it is the carbon particles that do not burn, that were initially in the gas, that are formed as soot on top of the boiling tube, on top of the boiling tube. Somebody will ask you, why is the luminous flame yellow in color? The same reasoning. The carbon particles that did not burn, that were initially in the gas, when they were they are heated, they glow. And when they glow, they produce the yellow color. Another difference between the luminous and non-luminous. The non-luminous is short and steady. It is short and steady. It's not very wavy. But the luminous flame is long and wavy. It's long and wavy. You can see. It's long and wavy. The other difference, the regions. We do say the non-luminous flame has three regions. The outermost region, we say it is the pale blue zone. In between, there is another zone that we call it the green blue zone. Then the innermost, where we have the almost colorless, that basically we say it is unburnt gases. But the luminous flame has four regions. The outermost part, we call it is the pale blue zone. The larger part that is luminous, we call it the bright yellow zone. In between, we have the innermost part again that is consisting of unburnt gases, and that one we call it the almost colors. But if you consider the bottom, if you consider the very, very bottom part point here, there is a blue zone because at least in that region, there is enough oxygen. There is enough oxygen. So it has four regions. That is the luminous flame. The non-luminous flame, it has basically four zones or four regions. Uh, three regions, that is sorry for that. Now, if I consider even the amount of light, the non-luminous was not very bright. So it cannot use, be used for lighting. It does not produce a lot of light. But the luminous flame produced a lot of light. That is the non-luminous flame versus the luminous flame. Somebody will ask you, why do we prefer the non-luminous flame? One, it is very hot compared to the luminous flame. Two, it does not produce soot. And if it does not produce soot, it means it does not datify the apparatus you will work with very clean apparatus. So we have learned between, we have compared the luminous and non-luminous flame, and it's a form one concept under the very first topic, introduction to chemistry, and it's good because you need to distinguish between the luminous and non-luminous flame. Thank you so much. Keep uh, 
following my uh, YouTube channel. Keep uh, coming back to check what else I have posted and I'll keep educating you. Thank you so much and continue being a good student.